Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft OneNote. In this module, I want to talk about links. How you can create a link to a different section or page in OneNote or a web page. So I'm on the insert tab. Links is in the middle of the ribbon. When you click on that, you get the link box coming up where you can type a name that's going to form the link. So I'll just type my name, Steve. Down the bottom here, you've got all your notebooks and the one I want to link to, the section I want to link to is tags. And inside of tags, you have a page called tags. So I'll link to that, I click OK, and then it creates the link. If you point your mouse to that and click it, it goes onto the tags section and the tags page. I just come back. Now that was me typing it in from scratch, but if I just type um, test there and then do it a different way, if I highlight that, that word, go to link, and then it's got that word already there for you. And again, you can link to one of these and I'll just open up that page, same thing, clicking okay, you get the link like so. That's create a link through the dialog box. Now you can also create links by typing square brackets so if i type two square brackets and type the word tags and then two square brackets it actually creates a hyperlink to the same place that i've just done through the wizard and by typing it and selecting text so it's the same two square brackets if you can remember does that now if you've got two square brackets and you type a word that doesn't exist what it does is create a page two square brackets i'll call this um john because I don't think I've got anything called John. Two square brackets, and it's created a link. It's got a little different line under it, hyperlink. It's created a page, John. If I click on it, goes to John. There's nothing on John. Go back to links. That's just, just a different way of doing it. Yeah, you've no square brackets, and it exists. It'll go there. If you do square brackets and it doesn't exist, it creates a page, wherever, whichever section you're on. So that's that one. Now, Next to that, you've got online video. So what I want to do is show you how you can get an online video into your OneNote. So I'm going to open that. It's asking for an address. Now I've already got one of my YouTube videos selected there. So I can copy this address, coming back into OneNote and paste that in there. And then when I click OK, that drops that video in there. And you can see you've got the the play option there. I'll click off that a minute. It will play. There we go. So, so that's the video playing. That's a link to an online video. Obviously, you you need the internet for that to work. Otherwise, it'll just end up sitting there as a picture. I'll get rid of that one. I don't want it. You've also got the feature to record a video over here. It says record video. So this is going to record you, and then you're going to be in this page or section. So let's click on that and very quickly record myself. You'll see how it works. So it's now recording me. I've turned the light off because the light was shining straight into the screen. But if I close that now, that is there as a video and I can click on that and play that. So there you go. I'll do it again. So that's playing wherever I record. Now, obviously, for that to be of use, you need to have the lighting correct, which I haven't got in this um, office I'm in. So it's all useful stuff, though. Video from the Internet, video recorded by you, giving instructions to people or just talking back something and also hyperlinks to different areas in OneNote. Now, you can also hyperlink to a web page if you want. So if I go back onto insert and do link, this time I'll call this. Um, web and type an address in there my web site which is it's easy.co.uk that is it clicking ok to that so this again you need the internet connected up click on that and it opens up that web page and then i'll just minimize that come back into OneNote. so hyperlink to a page hyperlink to a section hyperlink to a website record a video or embed a video, embed a video. All of these features are available in OneNote. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.